Ahoy! Many new players are asking how it's possible to put critical rate in the slots of your weapons or helmets. So today I'm going to show you. Well of course critical rate scrolls actually exist, but they are extremely rare and therefore expensive, so let's go with the other method. This other method is gambling. Well, that is something I wouldn't really recommend doing, but if you like testing your luck then, well, good luck with it. This method includes random scrolls. Their outcome is a so-called weighted random, meaning bad options have higher chance to be granted upon success, however there is still a chance to get the one you actually want. This is the method people normally use when they are trying to get critical rate in weapons or helmets or maximum critical rate in gloves and suits. Contrary to popular belief, you cannot get skill M that way so it's almost entirely useless trying random in your boots. So what do you need? Well first of all, an item with two slots, a slot extender matching the grade of that item, random and critical damage option scrolls and four scores also matching the grade, a core alchemist in your favorite town, and last but not least, luck. Lots of it. I totally didn't buy the cheapest items I could find in the shop, so here's my um, master's palladium orb and my slot extender highest, uh, yes. So a few things to know about filling the slots of an item. The first slot in armors and weapons is permanent once you succeed with filling it. The second slot is sort of variable. You see, if you succeed with filling it and then fail filling the third one, the second one will be reset to be empty as well. Now this is normally a really annoying thing, but this time we are actually going to turn that to our advantage. The second thing to keep in mind is there's a base chance for success when you register a scroll. This chance can be improved in two ways. You can use more 4 scores, but that's limited to 10, and you can upgrade your item. At plus 15 using 10 4 scores your success rate will be 98%, which is actually quite favorable. Remember when I said your chances to get your expected option are quite low? Well that is why we're going to make use of the facts that I've just mentioned to save as much money as possible. Let's fill the first one with critical damage. This one is going to be permanent, it cannot be removed anymore. The second slot is where you will want to get your favored option, in this case critical rate. Now obviously you're not likely to get it first. You see I got something different too, but no problem. Let's use this slot extender that is still totally highest grade and add the third slot. And let's fail it, so that the second one will be reset too. Now what you use for the third slot is determined this way. Will you use your item even if it doesn't have rate in it? If your answer is yes, put a critical damage scroll in it. If no, then buy the cheapest scroll you can see because you'll be throwing this item away if the results are unsatisfying. If your item is plus zero or anywhere close to that, and you use only one four score, you can see your chance to succeed is quite slim. And in this case, that's good. You want to fail your third slot, so that the second option will be gone. Ideally, you will fail and then you start it all over from filling the second one with random. There are two possible outcomes. Worst case scenario, you get something useless in the second slot and then succeed when filling the third one. That means all three slots will be filled and there's no way to ever modify them again. You can decide to use your item or throw it away. And you will have to buy a new item and a new slot extender to try again. The favorable outcome is to have critical rate in the second slot. Now this is the part where you stop. You must not fill the third slot just yet. Remember that if you fail the third, all the result of your hard work will be gone just like that. So this is the part where you start upgrading. Ideally you should get the item to plus 15 and then try filling the third slot with critical damage and using 10 4 scores to have maximum chance for success. So that's about it. The next time you're wondering why those so called 40 damage several rate items are so expensive, well here's your answer. If you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it or subscribing to my channel. Ahoy!